Congratulations! You made it to the second video in our After Effects text animation series and now you have expert idea of the gradient ramp and glow effects as well as the track map technique. But before we dive into this tutorial, let me show you how powerful what you're about to learn is with a live example in the world. So here is an animation template on Invato Element. The animation uses a lot of techniques. However, I want to draw your attention to this part. As you can see, the text is moving in a circular path, which is what we will be learning today. So without any further ado, let's get started. We'll start off by creating a new composition. Set the duration to 3 seconds and leave other settings the same. Let's name it text O2 and click OK. We need a background layer so right click in the layers panel, select new and click on solid. Although we set the background to black while creating it, we can override that with the red gradient. Click on effects and preset and search for fill, then drag it to the BG layer. By default, the fill color is red. Let's add a gradient by searching for the gradient ramp in the effects and presets panel and drag it to the BG layer again. Update the start color to red and the end color to dark red. Nice, it's looking good. Next, select the horizontal type tool, click on the screen and type the text power up. I mean, you can use any text you like. Select the text and change the font to helvetical bold. Set the font size to 208 pixels and the border size to 14 pixels. We'll leave the font color as white. Then align the text to the center horizontally and vertically. Let's create the part along which the text will animate. With the text layer selected, select the pen tool and create a point on the lower left. Also create the second point on the upper right to create a line mask. In order to make the line curved, select the convert vertex tool and click on the lower left point of the line to create the first knob. Also click on the upper right point of the line to create the second knob. Press V on the keyboard to switch back to the selection tool and drag the first knob downwards. Also drag the second knob upwards. You can also adjust the starting and ending positions of the line. Now expand the text layer. Expand the text section and the path options. Set the path to mask 1 which is the line mask we created. This will add new options we can play with. For example, if we click on the reverse path option, it turns the text upside down and reverses it. And if we click on the first margin option and drag it to the right to increase the value, you will see how it makes the text move. In fact, this is the option we want to animate. We want the text to animate from off the screen into the screen. So move the play here to the beginning and click on the stopwatch in front of the first margin option. Set the value to a high negative value like minus 2500 just to ensure that it is off the screen. Then move the play here to 1 seconds 15 frames which is exactly halfway between the beginning and the end of the animation and set the value to 500. Add easy ease by selecting both keyframes and hitting F9 on the keyboard. You can also switch to the graph editor. Click on the second keyframe and drag the knob towards the center to make the animation speed up at the beginning and slow down towards the end. Now when you play the animation from the beginning, you will notice it stops halfway but we want the animation to pause briefly then exit on the other side of the line part. Although this should be done by adding another set of keyframes manually, let's simplify our work and achieve this using the loop out expression. Hold option key and click on stopwatch in front of the first margin option setting. This will open the panel for entering expressions. Click on the play icon, select property and click loop out. Delete the second argument and change the type to offset to achieve this. Now if you play it again, you will notice the offset loop out expression moves the text out of the other side. Our animation is almost complete. So collapse the power up text layer and duplicate it by hitting command D on the keyboard. Hit enter key to rename it to level up. Move the play here to the middle of the timeline and with the level up layer selected, drag the layer down, holding the shift key to maintain a straight line vertically. Make sure the level up layer is just exactly beneath the power up layer. Double click it and change the text to level up. 
click on the layer panel to make sure no layer is selected then press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes move the playhead to the beginning and modify the starting keyframe of the level up text set it to 2500 to ensure the level up text come in from the top right which is the opposite direction then move the playhead to the second keyframe and align the positions appropriately and that brings us to the end of the second animation now let's move on to the third one